am a terrible guitarist. This is why I'm not doing the music. Are we recording? We're recording, okay. Hey there, drinkers. This is Doc with Four Brothers Mead, and I am here to welcome you to the channel where we will cover everything mead, Vikings, and mead related. So, let's address the fact that uh, I've been gone for the past month without any uploads. And I said in the last video I was gonna be uploading bi-weekly. Well, where have I been? What have I been doing? Why haven't I made a new video? Well, it's kind of piss poor planning on my part. I didn't really have a timeline lined up for what I wanted to do. Uh, the next video was supposed to kick off with the label series. Um, and that was going to go through XYZ amount of videos covering our traditional mead all the way down to our newest flavor. Um, but I have been missing... Um, b-roll footage of starting the batches flavoring everything like that so that's been kind of on a standstill so i just wanted to reach out to you all and let you know i haven't forgotten about you um, i've been a little busy and things just haven't been lining up with uh, the video production like i was hoping like i said we were supposed to kick off this video with uh, covering odin's hafen um, which is our traditional mead but I should be getting B-roll footage of that Wednesday, March 9th, um, and then I will try and put a video um, together shortly after that. I might not. I want to make sure I have everything for the label series covered, so that way when I drop the first video, each one can just be a continuation off the label series, and it's not like, oh, here's traditional, here's our orange, here's maple, here's blackberry, and just like throw those throughout the year. I want to make it just like one consecutive series. So who knows? I might drop it. I might not. All right. So until then, let's cover some upcoming news with the meadery. Let's talk music. <laughs> No, not me, but we do have some talented musicians coming to the meadery. Starting March 12th, we have Jason Cole at 5 p.m., who will be playing. March 19th, we have Haley Woodbright starting at 6 p.m. And then on March 26th, we have Lucy Switalski. Sorry if I pronounced that wrong. I'm um, starting at 6 p.m., so it'll be a fun time. So what's next? Hmm. Have you heard about the Killer Bee? mead raffle so the killer bee mead raffle is going to be march 19th on a saturday uh starting at 4 p.m and this is a special type of mead um, never done this before it's been aging for two years two that's a lot it's more than one but less than three it was harvested from some killer bees in the Amazonian rainforest, and it's going to be a collector's edition mead that features a matte black bottle with gold leaf and black hand wax dip, and they are personally signed by all four brothers. Mine's the most important. Each bottle is marked with its own unique number and comes with a custom-built wood-burnt box and sealed with a wax stamp. That sounds pretty freaking cool, and I wish I could have one, but... I can't. Whoever wins it, I will buy it off you. So we're going to have live music that day. I think I covered um, Haley Woodbright is going to be playing uh, music that day. And then uh, everything starts off at 4 p.m. Um, for the Mead Club members. Um, we're going to start raffling tickets off for $5. And um, raffle tickets may be purchased by non-Mead Club members at 6.30 um, we're going to have a food truck set up at 5 also, um, and then we will draw the raffle at 7. And you don't have to be present to be a winner, but why buy your tickets and leave? Stick around for the raffle. Duh. <laughs>
Non-winning tickets can be turned in um, for a 15% discount off a drink of your choice. Speaking of drinks of choice, what am I drinking? Guess it. Kind of need to give you hints, though, to guess. It is a little mixture of cream soda. Tim Peterson, I think you might know what I'm drinking here. And a little bit of mead of the berry type, not black. It's a good old berries and cream. That, that's what I'm drinking. So if you listed in the comments below, it's probably because you heard me say it and not because you guessed it. But berries and cream is what I'm drinking. And it's delicious. Ah. All right, so we've covered music coming up in March. We've covered the Killer Bee Honey Raffle. What else is there? There's something that I'm missing that's coming up pretty soon, and I can't remember what it is. Something big in April. What could it be? Oh, I know. Our second annual Sigurblot Festival. <laughs> How'd I forget? I didn't, actually. I was playing it up like I did. Sigurblot. Let's talk about it. When is it? It's April 23rd, and it's kicking off from 12 to 9, maybe later, depending on how crazy the party gets. It's going to be our biggest festival yet. And just to kind of go over some of the details, we're going to host over 40 vendors. That list will be coming soon because we're still hashing everything out with the vendors. Um, there's going to be live armored hand-to-hand -hand combat from the STL chapter of the International Fight Club Legion of Honor. That's a mouthful. But we've had these guys before. Um, they kick each other's asses, and it's, uh, it's pretty cool. Um, they're using authentic style weapons and armor from the, uh, from the era, and it's, uh, it's pretty fun to watch. Um, so I suggest coming out to see it. Uh, we're going to have blacksmithing, um, fire and belly dancing, um, local food trucks. We're going to have two stages of live music all day. There's going to be axe throwing, archery, and so much more that's going to be there this year. Um, if anybody's been to our festivals in the past, hit that like button. And if you have, comment which festival you've been to and what was your favorite part about it. Um, we, the brothers, we try and mingle with the folk a lot and just see how the vendors are doing, how people are liking and enjoying the festivals. So to really hear back um, from you guys would be uh, much appreciated. Um, we're trying to be in more of a uh, role of meet and greets and everything, but sometimes we got to, you know, give the workers and the wives uh, a break. I mean... <laughs> It's not like they're slinging drinks for nine hours straight. Jeez. But, as yeah, like I said, the vendor list, uh, we will have more to come. Um, I'm sure most of you on this channel follow us on Facebook, and we will be posting that list once it's finalized there. Um, so I'm super excited um, to be out there. Um, still working on my getup. Uh, I have everything pretty much finalized to be a peasant viking oh i never covered um where have i been you know you all know maybe that i am an er nurse and so work's been pretty busy but what else have i been doing i don't know maybe getting prepared for the russian invasion bro come at me putin you want some bro i'll squeeze some off on you dude get gatted just kidding um so that's where I've been at, just pretending to be a badass with this, but I'm not. Anyways, um, I'm rambling, so that means I should um, probably be stopping here. So if you like the video, hit that like button. If you didn't like the video, hit that dislike button. Let me know in the comments how I can make this better. Um, I know the environment, as you see, still looks like trash. Um, because I'm still working on my basement. The lighting sucks ace because I have a big window right above me right here that lets tons of light on my face and it makes me look like I'm Patrick Swayze. Ghost, if you didn't get that reference. Uh, it's still a work in progress. Um, so again, put in the comments down below which festival you've been to, what was your favorite part about it, and then um, what you'd like to see in the next upcoming videos. All right, guys. 
Thanks for tuning in, Horde, and I'll see you next time.